Hey guys, it's Santi Radio. All right, so tonight's radio topic is this. Japanese, uh, typical Japanese man. <laughs> it's a very simple topic. However, I think this topic, this video is going to be kind of deep. Because I want to talk about Japanese man, okay? Their mentality, their characteristics in general, all right? Anyway, please enjoy. So this channel is all about Japan, Japanese culture, Japanese people. So if you like Japan, please subscribe, okay, before you watch. Please. Thank you. All right, so as usual, let me share a comment. It's from Gray Freeman. Thank you, Freeman. Well, actually, Gray. And Gray said, Hey, Santi. Good commentary, as always. Thank you. You seem like a red pill guy. Red pill. Do you know the reference? In the movie The Matrix, the red pill represents the difficult truth. The blue pill represents an easy, but a fake, fabricated life. Where do all the red pill Japanese hang out? Thank you, great. So when I read this comment, I, to be honest, I, I didn't understand the red pill. Yes, I watched the movie, but I didn't understand. Therefore, even though he kind of, you know, explained, I searched, all right? I searched, okay? And there's a article about red pill, blue pill, you know, like this, okay? <laughs> From Matrix, <laughs> Morpheus, all right? So it says like this, yeah? he says, you take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in a wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit holes goes. From Matrix, okay? Therefore, these words kind of used as a reference as uh, the fair, like uh, awaken, you know, who, who look at the difficult uh, facts or who look at the, the reality and then uh, share honest opinion or love to understand that you know the complex situation I guess that's what it is in Japanese so red pill is like a kibushikute tsurai mono de atemo genjitsu o choku shiyotu suru chikara toka shinjitsu ni mezameru toka ato wa kakusei saseru satoru toka awaken is a good way I guess but anyway so that's what it means right so it seems like Gray thinks that I'm red pill guy. Okay, thank you. So in this video, I wanna I wanna talk about this. How I became a red pill guy. So let me share about my history, okay? Which is a study abroad. And then next part is from this study abroad experience, I wanna think about general typical Japanese man as a stat. Alright? And lastly, I wanna answer his question. He answered asking me. Where do all the red pill Japanese hang out? Last part, okay? So there are three steps, okay? So please enjoy. I think this video can be interesting, I guess. <laughs> all right, the first part about me. So I assume that, so the gray felt, you know, felt, oh, Santi is a red pill guy because he say his opinion straightforward with logic sometimes. Most of them, I guess. With log logically, he explained how he think, how he feel about certain events, certain things, right? So he's not afraid of speaking out his opinion. That's one thing. And also, um, look at, uh, talk about the difficult, talk about something controversial stuff too. He talk about this, and he always clearly state that, you know, like uh, where he understand, uh, what kind of facts he saw before. Da, 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 da. Anyway, so um, in short, I think red pill guys always have the mindset to share my idea logically. You know, that's what I what I what I assume, I guess. So where I do get that? Where do I, do I get that kind of idea? I think it definitely came from my study abroad experience. Okay, study abroad experience. So I was born and raised in, in Japan until 16, 17, and then I went to Australia for a while. And then after that, after I finished my high school in Japan, I went to America, all right, from university. Stayed there for five years, and after my graduation, did my uh, startup, right? And I failed it first time. And then went to Dubai, two years, and then came back to Japan, stayed five years for a consultant, and went back to Ireland for three years, you know, MBA, and startup again, you know, web startup. So uh, my experience uh, was most likely overseas, you know, after I grew up. And my mindset as Japanese, my identity was established when I was outside. 
definitely. As I talk to South Korean guy, my roommate, first roommate, he's a great man, yeah, he's a great man, Jason. And then, uh, you know, my friends, best friends, very, very good friends, you know, the Taiwanese guy, and also other Indian guys, whatever. When I talk to those international people, I start feeling that, who the fuck am I, right? And I start feeling like, I am Japanese, and I didn't learn anything about Japanese history. All I learned is it's something bad about Japan, seriously. I didn't even like Japan, Japanese or Jap Japan back in the days when I was 19. So I started, started learning about Japanese history and uh, learning about the facts, right? And I found out the facts are different between co countries, you know what I mean? The way they see the facts. So I became more logical. For instance, in, in Japan, atomic bomb is one of the bad, bad memory for us, okay? But some country, atomic bomb is like a hero. It just closed the World War II. They respect the bomb and respect the aircraft who dropped the bomb too. Do you understand this? So even though it's the same fact, we look in a different angle, in our perspectives, and they totally have different idea, right? So I could have, I could have, fortunately, I could expose myself to different cultures in different countries, right? So I became more logical because there's a fact and different, there's the same fact, different logic. You know what I mean? It's interesting, fascinating. So that's one thing, okay? Make me like this kind of person, okay? Talk about my honest opinion, opinion uh, freely and logically without any hesitation, right? As you can see in this channel. So let's think about the typical Japanese man. Next part, okay? How many Japanese people who go to study abroad then? All right? And I said, I just look at it, all right? And it's less than 1%. Less than a 1% of Japanese people, they go study abroad for long term, like me. Of course, it doesn't count, like uh, I did a study abroad for language exchange class for two months, three months, half a year, it doesn't count, to be honest, no offense. For me, study abroad is more like a getting degree, bachelor degree, master degree, associate degree, whatever. Or anyway, doctor degree, anyway. So uh, getting degree is more serious, committed for everything, I feel. It doesn't count working hard, okay, in, in my case, okay, that's that. So less than one percent. So uh, who have experienced, like my experience, is less than a percent. So let's say if there's a hundred Japanese man, you won't see me, this kind of Japanese, that red pill guy. If you if you meet one thousand Japanese man, you might see one to one or few Japanese man like me. You might see if you're lucky. Okay, so that's a ratio, all right? So great, when you come to Japan, most of the Japanese you're gonna meet, encounter, unlike me, <laughs> okay? That's a fact, that's a fact, okay? I don't wanna say I'm unique, but statistically, okay? I think I'm in the minority side, especially if, if you add on other facts who have studied, who have started up on companies twice and in a work in a Dubai, get a master degree MBA, to be honest, it's very close to zero. Yeah. So uh, whoever Japanese you meet, most of them are not like me. That's one thing. Do you understand that? Okay. By st stats, okay? No, I'm not saying by statistically, okay? So, great. Let's think about this. So what is a typical Japanese man then? What is a typical Japanese man? It's the an answer is very simple. Who is not like me? That's it. Who is not like me, right? Like me, Santi, right? So let's think about it. So what is Santi? Santi, if you think about Santi, think about the opposites, really easy, right? So let's think about Santi first. Santi, he has a strong identity as Japanese. He loves own country. He respects own history, ancestors. He has a strong interest in international relations. He speaks kind of okay English. He speaks English. He got degree overseas. Therefore, he was trained in a classroom, speak logic, speak out in a classroom without any hesitations, All right? And then debate and emotion can separate. We can have debate, discussion without emotion inside, okay? Put emotion aside. You understand this? 
and also communicate with someone uh, with other other country from, from other country with different culture uh, behavior okay when I speak English I can behave more like Western culture wise but when I speak Japanese okay so different so Japanese okay so he can change the mindset of culture right and he can do he's under he, he fully understand about cross uh, cross culture communications because that's his expertise anyway and also uh, he he's trained for that too that's Santi so the opposite of Santi is typical Japanese man it's kind of sad to list it but let's go who don't have identity as Japanese who don't like Japan who doesn't care about Japanese history who doesn't care about Japanese ancestors who don't care about international relations who don't have interest about other countries cross cultural cross cultural communications and who don't have experience overseas therefore they don't have really they don't have flexible mindset towards others if who don't speak english they might okay okay for defense yeah you know they speak they study but they cannot speak english fluently okay yeah and what else they're not logic they don't talk their opinion directly you know because they're so japanese you know what i mean as you watch in my channel uh, my, my videos they want you to expect that what they think first because that's our culture all right so yeah that's a uh, japanese people that's typical japanese man i don't know if you call them blue pill guy but that's who they are okay so i'm sure of that there are many the red pill guys in those typical Japanese man, right? However, you might not be able to find them. Or even you find it's very easy, difficult to find those people because they hide their idea. Let's talk about more typical Japanese man, okay? So let's say, <clears throat> let's say there's a, the red pill guys like me among this typical Japanese man okay so gray you met the guys in Japan but you're not sure if he's the red pill guy or blue pill guys so when do you know them well when you are in their circle you find out whether he's red pill or blue pill before you in his circle you don't even know which color pill he is Seriously, all you have the information is that most of them are opposite of Santi. Maybe that's kind of correct, I guess. But even though, you know, even though, even though those typical Japanese man, I'm sure that there are some red pill guys, blue pill guys. But again, you will never find out until you are in their circle. So great. I don't know what you're thinking. Santi, what the heck is circle? Let me explain, okay? So in Japan, in, ja in Japanese people, the, there are some words saying like uh, uchi to soto, uchi to soto, uchi means like inside, soto means not inside, kind of outside, all right? So uchi means house too, home, yeah, home, house, yeah, soto could be outside, right? Anyway, so inside or outside, just simply saying, right, inside, outside. So, so what is inside then? What is a circle? Well, if you will say that in English, I can say community. Community is a good word to represent, to, de to describe this circle. So what is a community, right? Smallest community is family. And next smallest could be school, same classmate. And next one is, if there are younger kids, same classmate, uh, same, uh, your friends, same class, and the same school, same year, and same school, and the same district, and the same province, and same country, like this. Okay, so community could, is somewhere you belong to. If you're adults, could be your the smallest community is always a family. Family, your friends, your colleagues, favorite colleagues, your team members, or your departments, and your company. You know what I mean? So family 
your your favorite team members of your friends your team members you always hang out your department people your company and your you know group company then maybe your province your your country like this so community is there there are size layer of communities all right do you understand this anyway so when you are in their community you might be able to find out where he's a red pill guy blue pill guys okay let me give you an example okay example so do you see do you see those people who are uh, when he go outside and talk talking in uh, in front of the class in front of friends he's very he's very kind quiet however when he comes back home in front of his father and mother or his younger brother he act like a man he's kind of talkative he's kind of bossy too do you see those people familiar the people change their you know psychology to change the characteristics because when he belongs to when he feel that i'm in the community in my family he feel more safe so he can show that who he is you know the real him but when he is belong to somewhere he's not feeling like i'm in a community he behaving like i'm modestly do you understand this mm. i think you can see this tendency in every nation every countries however in japan i think this tendency is kind of clear more explicit i guess and then as long unless you feel that i'm in a community they don't show who they are great you understand this so far okay yeah therefore to know who they are you have to be you have to f make them feel that i'm in a community right now i feel close to him you understand this okay the other example get okay, this too let's say i and let's say uh taka and lisa the couples yeah taka both japanese by the way taka lisa couples japanese couple they travel to Buffalo, New York, right? Buffalo, New York, went to Niagara Falls, right? And when they're in Niagara Falls, looking down uh, fall, and in a Niagara Falls city, wow, it's so beautiful, taking picture. They want to take a picture together, but they forgot the selfie stick, right? So they go, oh my God, should you take a picture like this? I can't find, okay, I can't get the fall. You know, they're kind of struggling with the picture, right? And you just found that there are two Asian people, Asian couple walking next to them. And they, Taka heard that they're speaking Japanese. What's gonna happen? Taka feel like, oh, Nihonjin da! Sumimasen! Ano, shashin totte madi desu ka? Will just take a picture for me? Look, now in this scenario, in this situation, okay? The country, the biggest community, I just explained before, it's a really big community, right? Country. But it's very, it's, it's a community right now. He feel community. Wow, you are, in, well, you're, you're from my community. You know what I mean? My people. Then they feel talkative. Don't you have this experience? Overseas, as soon as you find out you're from my town, like this, you know? That kind of thing. So you feel far closer, easier. That's community. So uh, again, community, it depends on the situation, okay? Okay, so again. Anyway, so when you're in, the, in, in their community, they're easy to show you who they are. Yeah. Then, you can find out whether he is a red pill guy, blue pill guy. Okay. And then I think most of Japanese people are blue pill guy. Yeah. Those people, you know, the opposite of Santi. Most of them are blue pill guy. You know why? That's how it's trained. That's why. Yeah. Read atmosphere. Don't stand out too much. Care public eye. You know, be modesty. You know, notice before others say something when they say something it's too late you have to act beforehand therefore always be be, be aware of everything do you understand this and then think about the complex relationship for example there is a meeting there is a there is a, my senior my boss and but he's a He's younger than me, and there is my colleague, but he's older than me. They're talking, but uh, when I ask questions, who should I ask them? You know what I mean? Seniority, hierarchy, you have to really think about it carefully. Don't make a mistake, you know? Don't be rude to your senpai, uh, senior, to your uh, boss, senior, or like a more higher position. 
Do you understand this? So there are so many things to think about, right? That's typical Japanese. Therefore, they have one problem. Do you know this problem? Which is, they cannot have own opinion easily. Okay, so since I do cross-cultural communication in companies, okay, corporates. So uh, the last month too, I, w I went to one of the logistic company. It's a big corporation, okay, and they sending to uh, expatriates for overseas, okay. Whenever I ask questions, uh, whenever I go to those seminars, you know, always same kind of questions, uh, question I got from students. You know what they said? They said, uh, hey, Santi, I don't know uh, how can I say, how can I express my opinion well, you know, and then I'm afraid of the questions. So what do you think? This question, it makes me scared, uh, feel really scared because I don't know what to say. That's their, that's their uh, concern, okay? So most of the Japanese people, even though they're who is elite and who goes overseas as expatriate, they struggle with the questions. So what do you think? This question. Because they don't have the things, first of all. They don't have the opinion. It is, they were not trained for having your own opinion. Yeah. If you're Japanese watching this, if you're confronted with this, please let me know. But I think you agree with this. Right? No BS. Right? Therefore, th therefore, most of them, it's way before, you know, expressing about looking at difficult difficulties as a red pill guy. Not like that. They don't even have their opinion. They would say, I don't know. What, where I should follow. <laughs> That's a mindset they have. I'm not, I'm not, you know, disrespected to, to my, my, my people, okay? But this is a reality. Seriously, this is a reality. So there is no strong leadership. And if you have a strong leadership, what's going to happen? Yes, someone push you down because you stand out. Yeah. If you're a governor, if you're doing great things to make a change, to make a change for this, co uh, this country in a good way, somehow he's gone or he is, you know, those, those, those things happen, scandals, whatever, because he stand out. Okay, sorry, no politics. But anyway, therefore, therefore, uh, Gray, even though you get too close to them, you know, you're in a community, you might find out, oh God, there is no red pill guy. Yeah, that's the things. So far, okay? <laughs> 20, okay, another eight minutes. Okay. All right, so that's about it. By the way, Gray, there is one more way. One, one more, uh, the other way. One more way you can find out whether they are red pill or blue pill guy. Okay? Yes, community is very important. Unless you're in their community, they'll not be close to you, they don't show who they are, okay? That's who they are. However, there's one more occasion, one more situation. You can know they're honest, they're characteristic. You know when? Yes, drinking party. Seriously, when Japanese people are drinking with you, you know, or onsen, go sen bathtub, you know, they do that, yeah, like Russia, huh? <laughs> I think, <laughs> go to same sauna. They like those stuff, yeah. So if they get close to them, drinking together, yeah, and go to onsen together, they might open up and then they be honest to you. Yeah. Yeah. I think onsen is kind of, you know, difficult to go easily. It's kind of di difficult, right? So uh, I think drinking together is, is easiest. Mm. Drink, dine and wine, man. Dine and wine. Seriously, if you do that, you know their characteristics. Yeah. So you can just skip the getting into their community part and you can get to know them. Yes. Well, actually, when you're drinking, that's already in their community, I guess. I guess. Yeah. However, if there are many people there, for example, five or six, they don't show you and don't feel that it's community. Small number is better. Maybe alone or max two, three people. Mm. Then they feel close. You think agree? Okay. Yeah. And last question, okay? Last, lastly, you asked me the question. So where can I find those was again, where do all the red pill Japanese hang out? Well, let me tell you, Gray, they don't hang out. <laughs> Trust me, if they are red pill guys, they don't hang out. They are solo, they're alone, they're isolated. Look at me, seriously, every day. This is the only time I speak in my house, in my life. <laughs> this 30 minutes, that's the only time I talk.
Other than that, I watch YouTube, Amazon Prime, uh, uh, Amazon Prime, yeah, Prison Break, <laughs> and study, work, that's it. Well, I talk to my dog, but that's all I do because I don't hang out with people. I don't go to every Tuesday that bar with everyone as usual. That though I don't have this kind of friends. You know, I don't need it to be honest. Yeah. Therefore, if you want to find those red pill guys, um just keep looking at. Yeah. Keep looking. Don't settle by Steve Jobs anyway. Yeah, keep looking at. And you you might find, you might encounter if you're lucky. One out of 1000. Yeah. Statistics, right? And even though you meet them one out of 1,000, you're not in their community yet. You know what I mean? They're not ready to show who they are yet. So <laughs> it still takes time. This is very easy because uh, I don't know you. You know me, all right? It's only, only one way more likely, you know? Yes, I read your comments, but it's more like a one-way thing, right? From this way. So um, you feel that, aha, uh -huh, I know Santi. But just imagine that if, if Gray and I meet at random situation for example in a business conference or i don't know at izakaya i don't drink by the way yeah i'm not getting drunk by the way so it, you might not find out i'm the red pill guy you might think that i'm the beautiful blue guy blue pill guy because i always adjust to the person i'm talking to if she likes to talk about cheesecake i talk about cheesecake i, I love even though I don't. Oh, I like cheesecake, by the way, yeah. But, yeah, I pretend I do. Why? Because I'm a Japanese guy, you know? Come on, man. They're good at it, this. Seriously. They're very good at it, yeah. If they don't... There are some people who are, who are not good at, you know, adjusting themselves. You know? But those people, they have a difficult... They have a communication difficulty, I guess. But most of them, they do. At least they pretend that, that they really like your topic. But inside of them, they don't. Yeah. Therefore, Gray, it's very difficult to find real people guy in Japan. Yeah. That's my conclusion. <laughs> Do you understand this? <laughs> Sorry, tonight it's kinda in it kinda vague, yeah. And uh, uh yeah. But that's how I, yeah, I did my best anyway about your about your comments. Yeah. Let me know because I know some other countries it is very easy to find real people guys. You know, but it's also difficult to find. If you go to South Korea, I think it'd be more easier. Mm. No, wait a minute. South Korea is almost the same, I guess, like Japan. China, almost the same, I think. China is more difficult, I guess. Or well, China, they care about more community, I guess. Mm. America, it's easier, far easier to find out uh, whether he is red pill, blue, uh, blue pill, whatever. Ireland, a bit more conservative, I think, compared to America, but it's far easier than Japan. Mm. Uh, Dubai, I have no idea. I didn't have a local friends. <laughs> That's all I have. Anyway, what do you think, Gray? Let me know. All right. Any comments? Let me know. And if you like it, subscribe. Subscribe. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye.